now Prince William was not welcoming to Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, dated for just over a year before they announced their engagement in November 2017. When the former Suits actress and her prince wed at Windsor Castle in May 2018, Harry was joined by his brother Prince William, who looked every inch the proud brother. However, following the Meghan and Harry's engagement news, Harry was left unimpressed by the welcome she received from the Duke of Cambridge. According to royal expert Katie Nicholl, there was a fallout last Christmas when Harry told William he didn't think his older brother was doing enough to welcome Meghan into the family. Writing for Vanity Fair, Ms. Nichols revealed that according to one of the prince's mutual friends, Harry felt William was trolling out the red carpet for Meghan and told him so. They went on to add, they had a bit of a fallout which was only resolved when Charles stepped in and asked William to make an effort. That's when the Cambridges invited the Sussexes to spend Christmas with them. This royal revelation comes amid speculation there are tensions between Kate Middleton and Meghan. The rumors of a feud within the two royal families started after Kensington Palace announced earlier in the year that Harry and Meghan were planning to move from the palace to Frogmore House in Windsor. While speculation growls. It has been argued that the decision to move away from London is simply because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expecting their first child, not to mention the fact Windsor holds a special place in their couple's hearts. In an episode of Royal Podcast On Air, starring royal experts Omid Scobie and Emily Nash, the duo revealed the close connection Meghan and Harry both have to Windsor and Frogmore House, which had a lot to do with their decision to move. Omid explained, it's where the couple had their evening wedding, celebrations at Frogmore House. It's also a place we know they regularly visited privately when they were dating and trying to keep their relationship undercover, so it's a place that has a lot of meaning to them. Ms. Nash added that Harry's connection to the area date further back than his wedding. She explained, let's not forget, Windsor has been a real anchor for Harry for many years. From the time he was at school over the river in Eton, he would go back and have tea with the Queen. He spent a lot of time there in his youth. The royal expert says this is a very logical step for the prince, and believes Windsor is somewhere he feels very at home.